Hey everybody, Ryan from Intel here again with my good friend Tap. Hey guys. And uh, we've got a lot of questions from the community uh, as we've started releasing some of our performance data and our videos and our editorials. And we wanted to fill in some of the gaps Basically, with questions. Basically we said some stuff, people heard it and got confused, <laughs> and now we're here to clean it up. We're, he we're here to clean it up. <laughs> we're here to clean and it up. And I think one of these important ones is really, let's just talk about specs. Okay, right? specs. I mean, People want to talk about what are the GPU specs, what's the full desktop family, Makes and perfect let's, sense. Just, let's just break it down. All right, so most people know that we've got sort of a three character or three term name. Mm -hmm. There's a letter at front, so it's A, then there's a number next, which is sort of our segment, so three, five, and seven, mm -hmm. kind of like Core i5, Core i7, we have ARC3, ARC5, and ARC7, and then there's gonna be a model digit number after that, so one example would be A770, where the 70 part is sort of the skew assortment, 70 is the highest, then in our A7 class, there's an A770 and an A750 that are the high end of our GPU stack. The mid-range is an A580, Correct. which is effectively in the middle, that five class. And then at the entry level, we have an A380, which is using our 128 EU SKU, mm -hmm. which is sort of the entry level. Got so that's kind of like the way to think about our naming. And some of the interesting specs as we look at uh, the table that we're putting on the screen is, you know, uh, 32 XE cores at the top end mm -hmm. for the 770, 28 for the 750, 24 for the 580, right? So we've got yeah. a good a good range. Of, you can think about the EU as or the XE core as mm -hmm. the basic computation engine, right? So more XE cores means more graphics performance and bigger dies. What about graphics clock? I see this on here. It ranges from you know 1700 megahertz on that 580 yep. all the way up to 2100 megahertz right. on the 770. Graphics clock is another thing I've managed to com confuse the bulk of the community over. <laughs> and, and it's not that complicated. I if you think about it, we have a distribution of clocks that we hit when we're running games. Clocks are now dynamic on GPUs. They're not fixed. So the question is, when the clock's moving all over the place, what do you? how do you talk about that in a reasonable way to a consumer? So what we do is we say, let's pick a couple of apps that are representative of typical gameplay, and we're gonna run those on real silicon, and we're gonna look at the clocks and see where do they go. And based on those benchmarks effectively, we're gonna draw a line right in the middle and say this is your typical clock running a typical application in a typical environment. So it's almost like Intel promises that if you buy this card that says 2100, Half the time, when you're running most games, you're gonna see clocks that are higher, and half the time you're gonna see clocks that are lower. Okay, okay. So it's meant to be like a transparent way to say, expect clocks to be around here. Now, one of the other interesting stats on here is the A770 has an eight slash 16. It does, what's... that is super interesting. Yeah. So, um, a, the way to think about it is there are chips, and boards, and the board specs can be different from the chip specs. Mm -hmm. So A770 is really mostly an eight gigabyte SKU, but AICs and Intel are gonna differentiate. We're gonna do more crazy things like add RGB and add you know, uh, more memory. So this might be the first time that you're gonna see partners and Intel adding more memory as a way to differentiate. So that's why we're saying 816. The SKU supports both, and you're gonna see some AICs doing some uh, memory configurations and others. What's really interesting about this for me is that Intel is doing our own board. So I don't know if you want to talk about that. I do, right? And I'm sure some people have heard us reference IBC, IBC. right? Which is a term that doesn't mean, anything, doesn't mean to anything to anybody, anybody else no, other than inside. No. Even the company. guys in here didn't know what we're talking so about. So what does it actually mean? IBC stands for Intel Branded Card. And with an IBC, <laughs> what we're talking about is Intel, since we're new to this market, we want to make sure that we're putting our best foot forward. And effectively, we have partnered with some companies. We're building these cards in Malaysia directly. You know, Intel is buying the components. We're building the board. We design the board, you know, we're building the cooler, all of it's coming together as if we were building this card ourselves, which mm -hmm. is what we're doing. We're, we're shipping it internationally, it's going to be available on launch day at e-tail and retail. So we're not just building chips, Ryan. No, not just <laughs> chips. We're doing the whole enchilada. So we will have Intel branded cards, otherwise known as the Intel Arc Limited Edition Limited cards, edition. right? That'll be A770 and A750. So based on the GPUs that we were just talking yep. about, our A750 kind of follows the specs pretty straight down yep. the line. You know, the, the EU count, the XE core count, the memory uh, capacity, um, 225 watt TDP. Mm -hmm. A770 is a little bit more than what 
it the is. base level. You know, we thing. did we did add the 16 gigabyte option, so we did that for our bar our board. I'm kind of proud of that. We're also going to do do a whole bunch of LEDs, so this is fully controllable it's and really it's got cool looking. really yeah. cool looking <laughs> stuff. Maybe we can do a video later of that. But the LED stuff on the 770, I, I got to say, it looks really cool and it's got a controller. But again, think of it as there's going to be a whole bunch of different SKUs in the 770 class. AICs are going to do some funky things. We're going to do some funky things. It's how you know the market works. Very cool. So I hope that clears up some of that. Uh, and if not, hey, you know, send us some more questions and we'll come back and, and do this again.